The Cairo Opera House is facing a shake-up with the new cultural minister backed by the Muslim Brotherhood Party firing the head of the Opera House, Inas Abdel Dahim, in a move he says is aimed at injecting new blood into the arts and cultural programs. But staff at the Opera House have said they will not accept a new boss. She's been doing a great job this year and they just want to change her to, to make the, uh, the, the, the Muslim Brotherhood in control of every position in, uh, in, in Egypt, especially the, the Minister of Culture, so starting from the Minister of Culture. The argument sees performing artists joining an increasing number of others who say that they are fighting attempts by the Muslim Brotherhood and President Mohamed Morsi to impose control. I feel we have to be united with my Egyptian colleague to support uh, this revolution against these uh, people that has no culture at all. The argument highlights the problem in reform following autocratic leader Hosni Mubarak's overthrow in 2011 and the rise to power of the Islamists. Worries over the suppression of the rights of women and minority groups such as the Christian Copts have also increased since the election of President Morsi in June 2012. The new culture minister who was appointed during a cabinet reshuffle three weeks ago has not yet made any attempts to impose strict Islamist restrictions, but opponents worry that his removal of the Opera House head, along with the head of the state book agency and the head of the fine arts department, may be moving towards them. Abdel Dahim, who was appointed to lead the Opera House seven months before Morsi assumed the presidency, has said that she received no reason for her dismissal. Fears have been fueled over the situation by an ultra-conservative lawmaker calling in Parliament for the abolition of ballet performances on the grounds that they are in a moral nude art.